Welcome to Eric's Calculus Tutorial. My name is Eric Sinos, and today we're going to be uh, learning a lesson on integration. Now I'm sure you have heard what integration is in calculus, but we're going to be talking about integration, specifically about uh, finding or solving for C. For C. Now, where do we start? Let's start with a simple problem. In our Larson book, page four, 418, uh, you, will, you, you get the question dy over dx equals x plus 2. So when they give us this, we know that we have to integrate. And the question asks us to solve the differential equation. Equation. Now how do we do that? First step in solving the differential equation is we have to separate the y's and the x's. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the dx to the other side. So we're going to be left with dy equals x plus 2 dx. Now what's next after this? Step two, what we have to do is now um, add the integrand. We integrate it. So the after this step, we find we come to the answer y equals. Now for this part, we have to find the antiderivative. Now what is the antiderivative of, of x? The antiderivative of x is simply one over two x squared. Now the antiderivative of 2 is 2x and we're left with that so then we're left with 2x plus 2x now we also add plus c now what is c you may ask it's it's not a random letter that we just choose to, to put in what c is it's any constant number since the derivative of a constant and you're gonna want to take notes of this derivative of a constant equals zero then we don't know what that co constant is because it, it could be anything from one to one thousand it could be an Im infinite amount of constants so that's why we, we add the c so simply put the, the answer to this is this now that's all said and good but what what happens when they ask us a step further in our Larson book, we also get the question um, dy dt equals one half t. Don't let the t's fool you. Just think of them as, as x's. Okay? Now it's asking us to find the function y equals f of t. Passing through the lines... 0 and 10 passing through the point excuse me so what do we do once again step one we're gonna divide them into parts dy equals one half t dt we integrate it integrate it we we get y equals the antiderivative of one half t one half t is simply t squared now we're gonna 2 times 2 is 1 fourth. So we get 1 fourth t squared plus c because remember we have no idea what that c is. Except now, since we have, since we know that, that they want us to find it at this specific point, what we're going to do is simply plug in your 10 for y, 1 fourth, and your 0 for t. So 0 squared plus c. Now, anything times zero is zero, so we're left with c equals 10. So our answer, now we have a c, now we know what that constant is. So our answer is simply y equals, and we're coming right back to here, so this goes here, y equals 1 4 t squared plus, and we have that c, plus 10. So now you have... 
you have integrated while solving for C. Thank you for checking in. I'll see you guys later.